This man, Hong Kong billionaire Thomas Kwok, has been sentenced to five years in prison. Rafael Hui, Hong Kong's former number two government official, gets seven and a half years. All this centering around $3.7 million in bribes. I'm Ramey Asensio for the Wall Street Journal Digital Network. Ken Brown is our Hong Kong bureau chief and joins me here after covering this for the past six months. Mm -hmm. So, initial reaction. Um, well, not surprising. These are serious charges and everyone knew that. Um, you know, uh, Thomas Kwok gets almost the full sentence. Um, they, they mitigated it a bit for sort of being a good citizen and such like that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the, the one surprise would be Hoy, who was convicted of five charges, gets seven and a half years. He could have gotten them consecutive, which would have been 35 years. He's a 66-year-old man. The judge had him run concurrently. Right. Do you think that was uh, any influence there, or do you think it was because he was Hong Kong's number two before? No, I think because he was num Hong Kong's number two would have made the sentence worse, right? Um, I think, you know, the judge said that these are all sort of one one case and we'll run them con concurrently. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, this sentencing, these sentencings, mm -hmm. uh, how do you think this conveys any message to Hong Kong and to the outside world uh, with Hong Kong being transparent or trying to be mm -hmm. corruption free? Well, so the, the, the case in and of itself, you could look at two ways, right? Either Hong Kong's full of corruption and look at these bribes, <laughs> or they nailed it, right? They went and investigated and brought down two really powerful people. These sentences, I mean, you know, Thomas Kwok's a billionaire. The guy's worth seven-something billion dollars. He's in his early 60s, and he's going to jail for five years. That's a pretty serious message. Right, and it's interesting that uh, because they are going to jail for $3.7 million, but these guys are, are they're billionaires. You know, they could have uh, clearly not had to do this if, if they chose to, but they went ahead and, and did it, and of course they're paying the price here. Right. Uh, now the impact to Sun Hung Kai property is one of the biggest developers in the world, market cap of around $42 billion last I checked. Uh, any impact there? Well, the, as expected, the company didn't have much impact. They have a good bench of people. Uh, the good news for them was Raymond Kwok, Thomas's brother, was, was found innocent in this case, and he's now back running the company. He, they had been the co-chairman. Thomas has resigned. Raymond's running the company. The stock has been up. The stock was up right after the, uh, when it first started trading after the verdict, it was up about 2.5%. It's up a little more today. You know, people are, there's a weight taken off the, the company that, that this is over, but otherwise business is fine. And the company really was never implicated in any of the bribes. So it's, it's business as usual, really. Right, so they're maintaining a pretty much scot-free out of this. Uh, looking ahead, any appeals expected? Yeah, I mean, all these guys are going to appeal. I mean, Thomas's lawyer has already said they're going to appeal. Uh, Hoy's lawyer is likely to appeal. I mean, these are white collar cases. There's typical appeals, and there's a whole process here, just like in in any you know sort of developed court system. All right, so we'll have you back here when those appeals uh, start right. up. Thanks, Ken Brown, uh, Hong Kong bureau chief, talking about uh, Hong Kong billionaire Thomas Kwok getting five years in prison, and Hong Kong's former number two official Rafael Hoy getting seven and a half.